Now, from the way you move your hands to how you sit or stand, your body sends a message long before you speak. Body language expert and author Jan Hargrave is here with more. Hi, Jan. Hi there. How are you doing? I am great. It's Good. so nice to see you. You know, I love having you here. Thank and, you. and I'm always a little bit concerned that you're reading the way you know, I'm, I, I, every time I, I see am. you I think you're analyzing the I way am. I'm I sitting. I know. Would you hate to be married to me? Wouldn't that be terrible? Actually I'd love it. You'd love it. That's for but another day. you know what as we first sat down I thought to myself well should I cross towards him or should I cross away from him and then because in body language it says you always cross your legs towards the person you find most attractive so I guess I need to cross towards you because if I would cross this way we usually point our bodies where our minds want to go so if I'm pointing this way it's like I want to depart from you, oh, you see, because so just think it makes sense, though, doesn't it? Yeah. So then I need to cross like this. So if I'm on a date with you and I like you, you, I'd want to, I'd want to yes, also cross my legs because you. what happens is this: we lock other people out of our relationship. We're saying we are a couple and get out of our business. What, what about this thing I'm doing this right is now? This total with... analyzing. Oh, it's called critically evaluating what's going on. This is what it is. It's, it's because really I'm good. listening to you carefully. Yeah, it's a good one, and you're not bored because you can always tell when someone's bored because they had just starts to slip. So if you're like this, there's a difference in this and this. You see the difference? Yeah, This yeah. is evaluation. This is seriously considering what's going on. You do this every now and then, but you have to do it like this, like your mouth. Down like on the a, chin. Yeah. Now listen, you are known as a professional body language expert. Right. You've written a bunch of books on this. In fact, last night, I told you this in the commercial break, I was reading one of your books before <laughs> yeah. bed. And I think it's fascinating how you're offering people tips for everything from how to get the job, right. to how to convince someone to do what you want them to do, right. to, to the messages uh, you're, you're getting from your partner, to communication breakdown entirely. Right, you, your body language says more than the actual words that you're speaking. So if you're watching someone in their body language and their words don't match each other, then you can more rely, I think, on the body language because a body doesn't know how to lie, a mouth lies. So people usually move their hands a certain way when they lie, they move their hands a certain way and they tell the truth. So once you know all of those things, then you have the advantage during a job interview, during a presentation. I mean, you can read someone else before they even actually figure you out. It is so fascinating to me. So you have all kinds of tips for regular folks, but yeah. we have some very high profile folks we're gonna talk about today. Clearly we're in an election year. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are grabbing all the headlines. Let's take a look at Donald okay. Trump. So we're this video right now. He's got his index yeah. finger and his thumb together. Yes. What what is that signal like? Donald's gestures are really abrupt. You know, if you and I do this, our fingers are kind of bent. When he does it, his fingers are really, really straight. When you're doing just one, it says you're okay. If you're doing two at the same time, it says, I think that you are a zero. So his, his gestures are really severe, and sometimes he'll cut while he's doing this. He also has a tendency to point a thumb up, which is a great sign, though. It's a sign of really big proudness, because you might see a guy seated just this way. He, um, he tends to point his lips out too much, and that's a way to point at someone. What happens is this, when you do put the lips out too much, though, it causes the head to turn backwards. And so as though he's, he's looking his nose down a little bit at you. He also points like a gun yeah. a little bit when, too. When he points at you, he, he doesn't, you know, you and I point like this, he points like this. I like know, I've noticed get that in his speeches. But you know what, what's a great thing that he does? He does a goalpost steeple. Anytime you see a steeple, it's a sign of confidence. So, you know, sometimes you see someone do it this way. He does it really big. He does Over -exaggerated. it this exaggerated. Yeah. Okay, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> So we're going to take a look at uh, this video of Hillary. She, yeah. you know, that there's a handshake, yeah. a quick hug. You know what's a, a great thing that she has studied? It's a thing called full body listening, that when she's in a conversation with you, you feel there's no one else in the room but you and she. Someone can be pulling on her clothing, but she's still like so into you. So then, therefore, in her presence, you feel like you're very, very important. And she tries to convey that when she's speaking. It's a little bit hard of her to convey when she speaks, but. Her advantage is that she gets to combine male and female body language gestures when she needs them. You see, a male's gestures go away from his body and a female's gestures come towards her body. Really? So then if she needs to really be like, the, you know, like a male or taking over a, a conversation, she'll go like this and then she can get even as demure as this. This is really, really ladylike. So she gets a, com a man doesn't quite get the opportunity to do that, but a lady can combine the two. When 
I have a question for you. Yeah. So I, I have been on the road. I've traveled traveled with uh, presidential candidates before. I know that one of the very oh, common yeah. things is to sort of <laughs> yeah. put a, make a fist and stick your thumb out like this. Yeah. What What does that in mean? In some countries, that's their way to point. But in the South, we are trained that when you when we tell a lie, our moms might come to us and say, "I got you by the nose. I caught you in that lie." So this is this is a version of this. So oftentimes when they're doing it, there might be something that's inconsistent with their story or some deception. Okay, let's move on now because uh, I'm sure people have had enough of Hillary and Donald from uh, plenty of sources. So let's yeah. talk about some celebrities, Kim and Kanye. Kim and Kanye, now, yes. Now, we see them out and about together. What are some of the most common I think one of the, the biggest things I see is that when they hold hands, you know, if you had to hold my hand, you would, how would you hold my hand? I would hold your hand. Like this, let's say side by side. You can hold my like this. So this is an equal partnership. Look, they hold like this. This is really possessive. It's like you're not going anywhere. So you've, without you're, me. you're analyzing the way Kanye, Kanye is grabbing Kim. Kim's hand. Yes, yes. He's more in control of the situation and very protective because in most pictures, he's from behind her and kind of hugging or hovering over her this way. So he, he's like control. You know he's controlling that okay, whole well, picture. I, I can't and say she's always, you know, I know, And her head's always down like this to take a picture. That's like Lady Diana. You know, it's really sexy. Too. How, how about Taylor Swift? Oh, Taylor. Taylor likes to show that she's in control. And she does it, though, really well with her body language because she extends her gestures. You see, when you have both hands on your hips, this is a readiness sign, like a, like I'm in charge here. And she also stands up, so does Beyonce, too, though, with their legs apart. Oh, yeah. So they'll stand up. Hands on hips, yeah, legs apart. Yeah, can I do apart? it? You of know, course. they'll be you like it, this. You see, like this. Oh, yeah. That Big is, control gesture here. That is pretty powerful. Now you can walk around like this all day. Do you feel like you're in control, I am. Man? I do feel like I'm in yeah, control. Yeah, you do. No. You do. I don't know. You honestly do. You've I always so. given off that vibe. Listen, I hope so. we unfortunately are out of time, but for more info on body language or for Jan, you can head over to her website, janhargrave.com. Also, Jan will be on the news later today analyzing John Bonet's John Benet Ramsey's brother's Correct. body language. Burke, Burke Ramsey's okay, body and that's language. later During this his afternoon. Interview with Dr. Phil. Yeah, he smiled a lot on that. Okay.